Have you ever tried to start a design and you are just left staring at a blank page and have no idea how to get started? I'm going to talk about Canva's free design templates and how you can use them with multiple pages so that you can create your new design without starting from scratch. When you open up Canva, it comes onto a created design and your design page by default. So this is essentially your dashboard and it gives you a little search option here. If you click right into this, you can actually choose different options instead of scrolling through over here. So if you choose something like presentation, this is one of my favorites to use, whether you're using it for webinars or for eBooks, it comes with a whole bunch of different layouts in a similar family all in one. So all you need to do is hover over it and you can see that there are 25 different pages. So you just hover and it will show you cycling through all the different pages that you're getting in this one layout. Now what used to be good, I think while they were in Canva 2.0 beta, there used to be a little corner icon here, even without, even without hovering over it, you used to be able to see when pages or when layouts had multiple pages, but now you actually have to hover over it. So if you're just looking for different layouts and it could be in um, newsletters or um, in ebooks and planners and things like that. I know that presentations is one of the ones that definitely has multiple pages and that's why I like to use it. So you can see here this one's got 27 different designs, this one's got 25 and it will just cycle through and if you actually just want to see them you can just click on it here and it pulls out all the different pages in the layout. So if you wanted to add it to your own design it's super easy you just grab it and drag it over and it fills up the space. So what you can do is say you don't want to use this for um, for this presentation view and if you want to click over here you click on file it shows you the size so that is essentially a screen size 1920 by 1080 so it's similar to a website um, if you wanted to make it into a newsletter size then you could just do resize here or if you wanted to keep it you could also do a um, make a copy or a magic resize so you can change to um, I would probably do something like newsletter or um, letterhead is another one, depending on the size, or US letter document, there you go, that's a standard size. Uh, if you're in the UK, it would be A4, your standard document size. So then you could change that. You would, you would have to rearrange these a little bit, but it does give you the starting place for the template. Um, unfortunately though, if you were to start from scratch, it wouldn't give you all these presentation options. And I'm just going to show you another place where you can find the templates that a lot of people don't know about. It used to be part of Marketplace, but now if you just type in Canva templates, you can actually just go through and look at all the templates without having to, um, to look at them in here with just the ones that they show you. So you can see if I just um, click off of that, then I can go back and choose different layouts. Now I wouldn't mix and match uh, necessarily because the styles won't blend, um, but I would stick with one design uh, design style for your entire ebook or um, webinar presentation or whatever you're working on. Uh, it doesn't even tell you on here. See, this is what I don't really like. Um, I said at a time for a time there used to be a little corner thing that showed you how many multiple pages were in it. So you actually do have to open it in order to see all the different layouts in it. So that's that's a little bit crappy, but yeah, you just have to do a little bit of looking around. And then what you can do is I would create a Google Doc with some of my favorite ones and um, and just save those so that you can have a little um, a little archive of the ones that are your favorites. So you don't have to go through and open things up. Here we go, so this one's got two pages. But like I said, you don't actually see them until you open it. So I would create my own little archive. Uh, the other thing is, once you've created your own uh, your own um, your own designs, you get those in Canva 2.0 in folders. So if I want to look at design folders, so there are folders for photos. So this is photo folders right here. But if I look in design folders, um, let me take a look and see if I've got anything. Let's just take a look at this one, and then if I click on it, so this is exactly like pulling up a template from Canva, but this is using my own designs. So I would be able to add another page here. So let's say I wanted this one to be the cover, um, imagining it was the, the same size. So let's click on that. And then this one, obviously I would have to adjust it, but I've got all the, the colors and things like that and the styling, so I could just adjust it like this. So if I was 
doing this as a presentation that I can keep this consistent with branding that I've used before and with styling that I've used before. So it's really cool that in Canva 2.0 you can even use your own uh, your own pre-made designs that you've created before and you can just reuse those and use the different the different pages um, on your on new presentations as well. So I just wanted to show that as a little bit of a tip for you, how you can use the different templates with multiple pages and how you can actually find them and how you can use your own Canva designs and use those as layout templates as well.